When patients come to the hospital for their surgery, they will meet an anesthesiologist who will discuss the type of anesthesia that they'll need for their surgery. Uh, it's most often going to be general anesthesia, which is the deepest form of anesthesia. Patients will be rendered completely unconscious. They should not have awareness during their surgery. General anesthesia is obtained uh, through the use of multiple medications, uh, most of which will start off through the IV and then be converted over to inhaled anesthetics after the patient's asleep. The anesthesiologist uses a combination of different medications. Uh, some of them are sedatives, some of them are narcotics to relieve pain, and some of them are hypnotics to decrease awareness. The combination thereof helps the patient to be comfortable during the surgery. Each patient is different in terms of what we need to give them for anesthesia. Patients who are older and have more medical conditions often require less medication or different types of medications as compared to younger and healthier individuals. The anesthesiologist will meet each person before they go back for surgery and help develop a tailored plan for their anesthetic during the course of that surgery. Patients are often concerned about the uh, amount of medication given and how easily they might wake up from the anesthesia afterwards. It's not uncommon for us to change medications depending on their experiences in the past to help make sure that this time they're awake and alert as, as soon as they can be. For some types of procedures, we can use a less deep form of anesthesia called deep sedation or monitored anesthesia care. With this type of sedation, we do not need to place a breathing tube and we can just give medicines through the IV. Patients sometimes recall hearing voices or opening their eyes momentarily, but they're comfortable and do not have pain during the procedure. I hear patients are sometimes concerned about re receiving medication that will cause them to say things they might regret later. Um, that's not usually a concern. Folks do tend to relax with the medicines we give before we go back to the operating room, but they don't relax so much that they start saying things that are unusual. And if anything is said, it's always kept within the operating room. We know that they're under extra medications and it's not a concern to us at all.